All right, for more uh, on that story, let's now cross live to our reporter in Botswana, Ntakwana Ngatana. A very good afternoon to you, Ntakwana. A very big day indeed, and a touching memorial service for this late great hero. Tell us more about what some of the speakers, an affluent uh, number of speakers, uh, high-ranking uh, officials there, what did they have to say about this late legend? Good afternoon, Alicia. Yes, we're coming to you from the center of Kaburoni, not too far from the University of Botswana, where the memorial service was held. Now, first of all, we have to say the memorial service began with a multi-denominational, multi-religious prayer service by Hindu, Christian, and other faiths here in Botswana. Then his son said that his father was a man who didn't give them privileges and made sure that they understood that nothing came from nothing. Also his sister saying that uh, Masire made sure that family loved one another. But it was the speakers from outside of Botswana, among them Mo Ibrahim Alisha, who says he came all the way to ensure that he attends Masire's memorial service and funeral. And he says that unlike many African leaders, Former President Sekitumile Masire is a man who is an example of good governance and integrity on the African continent. You remember that he has also received that Mo Ibrahim Award for good governance. Also, his successor, uh, former President Mohai, received the same award. So he says that over these years where he has seen Masire, in some instances he even went on economy class just to show that his country had better things to do and when other leaders in the region were saying to him, you are embarrassing us or putting out the red carpet for him, he would basically not turn up because he wanted to ensure that his people understood that he was struggling with them. So a man who has been you know, shown as a man of integrity, not only here in Botswana, but also throughout the continent. As you've indicated there, uh, the former president of Mozambique, Amando Guebuza, speaking there on behalf of the government of Mozambique, but also we expect that tomorrow, Former President Habon Beki will speak at his funeral. We expect the King of Lesotho, King Lizia III, and the King of Swaziland to attend the funeral tomorrow. But also today, again, the former Secretary, Executive Secretary of SADC, Dr. Thomas Salomao, who went on many, many, many uh, mediation, facilitation efforts with former President uh, Masire, saying that in some instances he even went and slept in accommodation that was not in some people's opinions mm. fit for a president but for the sake of the mission that he was intending to achieve he would do anything. Alicia? Mm, a very quick one before I let you go. Now we do know that uh, he will be laid to rest tomorrow. Maybe basically take us through the funeral proceedings who can we expect? I know you've mentioned uh, some, but a few of some of the uh, high-ranking officials that will be in attendance. What is the actual breakdown of the funeral tomorrow? Well, from today, Alicia, his body goes to his home village of Kanye. There, there will be more viewing. There will be another service this evening, but also tomorrow morning, the service will begin from 7 a.m. We expect, as I've said, former heads of state to attend, former uh, government or heads of government and sitting heads of government to attend, but also uh, we expect that uh, he'll be buried next to his homestead where his late wife is buried right next to her. That's where he'll be laid to rest. It is just outside their homestead. And we expect that uh, people who are going to the funeral, the government has made arrangements that they should park a distance away and they'll be shuttled to the area where the actual funeral service will be held because they understand that many, many people are expected to attend the service, uh, even though it is a weekday here in Botswana and not a holiday. Alicia? All right, a very quick one, uh, Ntakwana, just to uh, get into your mind there. Uh, I, I, I know you mentioned some of the leaders that are coming there, but you didn't make any mention of the newly elected Tom Tabane from Lesotho. We also know that he might not be attending because of the situation with his later estranged wife. Is that the situation? Uh, at hand, yeah. 
Well, that's probably the reason, Alicia. But um, I think in Lesotho, you will find that where the king is attending, normally the prime minister doesn't attend mm. because the king, as the head of state, is the most senior official. Mm -hmm. But yes, the other reason could be that uh, Tom Tabani is still in mourning. His family is still in mourning, and they are still handling funeral arrangements for his second wife back in Lesotho. Alicia. Ntakwana, thank you so much for that update. That is our reporter, Ntakwana Ngadana. She is live to us from Khabaroni in Botswana, where preparations are currently underway for a later former president, Masire.